What's happening, everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. I hope you are doing awesome today. We have an exciting knife to get into today. This is the EMP EDC Ronin, and this is a one-off. So no one has this Ronin but me. Uh, the reason it is a one-off is because the colorway that was ran with this handle pattern came with a stone wash blade. This one comes with a machine satin and then a hand satin on the flats. And then I did decide to go ahead and throw a gold Zerku tie pocket clip on there, which really gives this a nice little splash with that brass hardware pivot collar. Uh, I think it looks absolutely amazing. I won't mind getting a Zerku tie backspacer and pivot collar for this thing. If John at EMP EDC were to ever do one of these. Now, the reason I was able to get this, if you have not seen, is I did win his 20,000 subscriber giveaway on Instagram, which included two one-off EMP EDC knives, the Ronin and the Nimble Tanto version 2, which I have a video coming on that as well, along with a whole collection overview of my EMP EDCs. So getting all that out of the way, this is a Best Tech OEM project with EMP EDC. This is his newest design that is out right now. And the last I knew, there was still some variations of this in stock. I don't know if they're still in stock as of recording this video, but I did look, I think two days ago or yesterday even, and there was still some in stock. Uh, so it'd be worth heading over there and checking out if this design interests you or you wanna get your hands on your first EMP or add to your collection. He is an awesome dude. He has an awesome family. His company is phenomenal. I'm a huge, huge supporter of EMP EDC. I literally have one of everything that he's pretty much ever done. Uh, and there's a reason behind that. Not only because he's a good dude and American dude. You know, he does have some of his stuff made overseas, but by his own choice, he would start having stuff made here in the States. Uh, and I believe he's looking at doing that at some point. Uh, but in order to get these in our hands at a good price with well-made materials, going with Best Tech and QSP, in my opinion, is the best option. Uh, for the best cost, for the best materials, I mean, this thing is coming in LMAX with a beautiful milled titanium handle. I mean, everything on this knife is just a 10 out of 10 uh, material wise. I don't know, you know, there's not, you're not going to be getting much better than this at this price range. I mean, even for more money, uh, there, I'd be hard pressed to take certain knives of EMP EDCs over a lot of other knives. I just think they're so well done. Love the designs, uh, love the builds, the ergos. John definitely knows how to design an ergonomic knife. And, you know, this is no exception here. Uh, this is not even related to the Nimble family or the relative. This is its own animal. And straying away from that, I love the Nimbles, but I think this was a good move to... Go with something that is completely unique, something that is different, uh, especially to EMP, but this is just unique in itself. Uh, you have these very straight angled edges for the Tanto. Uh, a lot of them will have a little bit of belly on the straight or a little bit of belly on the secondary. You know, this is very, very straight. And then you have a nice almost straight up and down you know it's a lot straighter a lot of them would come out a little further giving that second angle a little more of a uh, less steep angle 
I love the design. I love the flats here, uh, the swedging that goes to the tip. I mean, it's just just a wonderful design. And then you have his trademarked hole and fuller combo there. Uh, I don't know that it's technically trademarked, but that is a symbol of EMP EDC. This pill-shaped hole and fuller combo is, you know, you see that and you know it's an EMP EDC. And then you have that nice top flipper up there. Works very, very well. It's not sharp. Uh, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. You push your finger up against that tab and it is flying out. Uh, you can do the rollover with your index finger. Uh, I, I love it. I love the aesthetic. I love the ergos. I love the materials. LMAX steel, which I've never had before. Uh, it's So far, it's been great. The edge that comes on these from Best Tech is phenomenal. Another thing that John does is he runs his jimping, you know, almost the whole spine of the blades, basically to where it makes sense. Uh, you know, he really looks out for us consumers, the guys in the knife community. He really pays attention to us. He gives us what we are asking, what we are looking for. And I have said this just recently, and I'm not talking about anyone specifically here, but the same guys who will complain that knives that are coming out are not unique and they're not this, they're not that. When a unique knife comes out, they're the first guys to kind of diss the knife or, you know, reject the knife. Uh, it's cool to see things that are unique, in my opinion, and if they're well made and I like the design, uh, I'm, you know, going to give it a chance or if I can, I will give it a chance. And this is far and away a very unique design when it's closed, when it's opened. It's just, you know, there's nothing else that I can think of that this reminds me of. It does not remind me of anything. Uh, We'll go to the handle here. You have this black textured titanium with these deep milling pockets. It looks just exceptional. The hardware is very well done. You, you have the uh, EMP logo there on the pivot. Love that logo. Have it all over the place in the house and in the room here. You got the pivot collar. Gives it a nice little splash. I love the gold and black look. Like I said, I have an aftermarket Zerku tie pocket clip on there. The milling is just, it not only does it look great, but it provides a nice amount of traction combined with that jimping. Uh, just exceptional. And then you have that nice little choke up spot right here. You get a full choke up on it. Uh, you can dig your middle finger in there for an index style cut. I've been using this secondary tip here a lot to get into stuff and it works very, very well. Uh, the action is EMP EDC action. I mean, if you've had one, you know already what it's about. If you haven't had one, EMP knows how to design a detent, you know, where to place it, all that sort of thing to give you the best action on the open and close that the knife can possibly give you. Uh, this one, you can thumb flick it out, reverse flick it out, use the top flipper, of course. Uh, great action. The closing action is just impeccable. I've not, did I oil this? I think I did. I did disassemble this, yeah. So this has been taken apart and oiled and whatnot. It's the Tanto that I haven't done that with yet. Uh, but it's still breaking in, but it's ultra, ultra smooth. I mean, it'll close to your nail and you just give it a few light shakes and it'll go home. If you, you know, give it one good one, it'll close all the way. Uh, it's great. I love it same stock bearings uh you do have some nice internal milling done in there 
just an outstanding knife. There is no number sequence on this knife or anything like that, being as it is a one-off, so there is no numbering system. I'll throw it up here against a couple knives. There's the Civivi Hypersonic. The new Civivi Hypersonic that I actually really like. There's the Renegade Provisions Co. GOM. Very close in size there. And then you have the CJRB Knife Center Exclusive Echo there. And we'll go ahead and do one more. There is the Migoron Takog or Takog. A little bit smaller than the Ronin. So it's uh it's kind of right in that sweet spot for me at least. You're getting about three inches of cutting edge, three and a quarter inches overall, and then it's coming down just shy of seven and three quarter for your total length. Uh, so that's still right in my sweet spot. I really prefer between seven and three quarters to eight inches up to like nine inches basically uh seven and a half seven and three quarters to like nine inches is kind of my sweet spot i like a little little more blade a little bit more handle uh i think this is perfect as a primary or a secondary or just a knife to kind of sit in your display case. Uh, this one, I'm sure I'm going to carry it. Uh, I'm going to lightly use it, but I'm not going to abuse this knife uh, being as it is the only one of these. Uh, we'll get a weight on it. 3.6, 3.7, which is nothing uh, in my opinion. Why don't we go ahead and get a reading on that hollow grind. Let's make sure it's zeroed. I don't know why, but I suck at doing this. Uh... It's coming down around like 12 thousandths, which is pretty damn thin. Your blade stock is going to be like 138 there. 138 there. So that whole thing is going to be right around 138. And then up here towards the tip. Still staying nice and strong around 70 thousandths. How about the handle thickness? Right on that sweet spot. Almost 0.5. Uh, so it's going to have enough. It's going to have enough width to kind of fill out even a XL sized hand. I have plenty of room on there, especially if I choke up, which is how you're going to typically cut. Uh, perfect. I mean, the, 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 the knife came with no blade play, uh, left or right, up and down, none of that. The lockup is absolutely perfect. Uh, it's, it's solid as a rock. Came centered, perfectly centered. Everything came absolutely perfect. Uh, you know, the original clip is just all brass looking, similar to the hardware. This is a Zerku tie, so it has like a hint of blue and white in it. Uh, I think it's an absolutely exceptional looking knife, exceptional design, great build from Best Tech. I can't wait for what John has coming down the pipe. He's got an auto coming. He's got the Nimble T version 2 coming. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to do maybe a liner lock or button lock this year and maybe a worn cliff this year. Uh, I think there's a lot more to come in the last five months here or so that we have left, four and a half months that we have left in the year. I think EMP is going to keep dropping some crazy stuff on us. I am excited to see what he's got. Like I said, 
Look for the Nimble T version 2 video coming very soon. The EMP EDC collection video coming very soon. Uh, I have... Oh, I have a comparison of a couple different EMP knives coming and a couple battles coming with some EMP knives. So I have a lot of stuff coming up to deal with EMP EDC. I'll go ahead and throw up two videos right here for EMP EDC products. Highly recommend checking them out. If you are new here and you are not subscribed, click that G Ball Vision logo in the center of your screen. I would love to have you here. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I love you, and I will catch you on the next one.